Hey guys, this is Second Gen 1, April 2021 update has released for new 10 series, and you should be expecting it very soon. The update finally brings up ultra-wide support and pro mode, an auto-detection at night for hyperlapse, and the overall stability which is awesome. In this video we'll show you the benchmark of NT2 compared to previous updates, and the PUBG gaming performance. Before we jump into the main topic, if you're new to the channel, it would be awesome if you could smash the like icon and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow and motivates me to make more awesome videos for you. Without further ado, let's get started. As always, before I start the benchmark, I make sure the settings are the same as previous updates, with enhanced processing enabled and display resolution at 1080p. The initial temperature is at 30 Celsius. And at the end of the benchmark, we got rather a disappointing result, but the temperature rise remains the same as previous updates. I have tested again just to make sure with temperature of 29 Celsius, yet again the result seems to be the same with slight bump up. I said it before but I'll say it again, the January update was the most stable for me with 10 hours and 30 minutes of battery life and excellent performance with zero bugs as it is the final update for One UI 3.0. After I upgraded to One UI 3.1, the performance degraded in March update and furthermore with April update and I'm experiencing more issues like black screen when calling or unresponsiveness and less battery life. I wiped the cache from recovery but it didn't help. Also I have to use power saving if I want to use the device for entire day which is unfortunate. Yet another disappointing result, when gaming the FPS drops by 10 FPS in less than 2 minutes of gaming, when normally it drops by 1-2 to two FPS. I really hope Samsung fixes these issues. If you are facing the same or other issues, or if you got any suggestions, then I advise you to head over to Samsung members and share them your feedback in details, so that they could bring up a solution or a feature like they did with ultra wide in pro mode. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, do like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace out.